Hello everyone, welcome to Daisy Case Primitives. My name is Christy, and today I'm going to show you all of my recent Christmas cross-stitch finishes, and um, how are you? Hope Whoops. you're well. Um, yesterday I posted my um, floss tube Christmas home tour showing uh, how I use all my cross-stitch in my uh, Christmas decor. And uh, thank you to those that have already watched and left such really wonderful compliments and comments. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'm just sharing what I love and what I love to do. It's been um, years and years and years of collecting and um, gathering things and uh, putting things together um, a lot of it you've seen before, but a few new pieces, and um, so I'll get in and into that right now and talk about those uh, stitch pieces that I just finished. I've been stitching like crazy and hoping to keep it up and uh, get a few more pieces done. So the first one on top of the pile is Jingle Bells by With Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais. Um, this one is charted to have two more Christmas trees on this side of the Santa. And because I had in mind that I wanted to do a finish similar to this or like this, I decided I didn't want to put two more trees in there. So I just left those out. I backed it with some green and tan homespun and... I'm not sure that I like how I did this. I I uh, glued the rickrack on. I wish now that I would have coffee dyed the rickrack to make it a little bit darker to match this red, but I it's all right. And um, just added this homespun to the end of the stitched piece and then glued on the rickrack and then safety pinned three big jingle bells since this one is called Jingle Bells. I like how it turned out. I think he's a, quite the jolly Santa. I really like it. So that was the first one I wanted to share with you. The next one I stitched using a pattern from Punch Needle and Primitive Stitchers 2015 Christmas issue. And it is this design called Christmas by Joyce Reed. I've had that marked in the magazine to stitch for a long time. And here is my finish. I don't remember, this was a scrap piece of linen and I don't recall what it was, what it might have been. This kind of a greenish gold coloring. Um, anyway, so I stitched that using the DMC and backed it on or attached it, frayed the edges of the stitch piece and then just roughly running stitched it on to the pillow and then in the corners I used some of my grandma's buttons from her stash and used the holly fabric and I think it turned out really cute. Stuffed it with polyfill. This one I made pretty thick. This this Jingle Bells, I kind of, I pressed it. I, I stuffed it pretty thickly, and then I steamed it, pressed it to kind of flatten it out a little bit. So that was another finish that you saw maybe in the decor video, Christmas tour. The next one was Merry Old Christmas by Not Forgotten Farm. This one turned out really pretty. And I stitched this on a 
another scrap of linen. I try to keep as much as I can because I stitch in hand. I don't have to have a lot of excess on the edges of my pieces, even on my samplers that I'm going to frame. I frame them kind of tight and um, so, and I do it myself, so I don't, uh, I don't have to have a really wide margin, but um, so I have a lot of scraps left over and I'm not very good about marking them. I maybe should start doing that. So when I do things like this, I can tell you, but Merry Old Christmas used the DMC called for charted and I love how this turned out. So this one, I put some fusible interfacing on the back side of the stitched piece, and then I backed it with this uh, fabric, and then turned it, and then, where did I even close it up at? Yep, I just kind of whip stitched it here on the edge, and then pressed it all again. This I have placed in my um, grain scoop, and uh, it fits in there just perfect. As the grain scoop's laying down, this can slide right in, and it just really looks pretty in the scoop. That was another finish. On to the next one, Pineberry Lane Merry Christmas Hanging Sampler. Got this one all done. I might have showed this in my last regular video. I can't remember. I've slept since then and done too much. <laughs> I've been waiting on a frame for this. Uh, got this from Art to Frames, and I really like how this turned out. This was stitched on a 36 count marbled, marbled hazelnut by XJU Designs. It has quite a bit of uh, modeling and it makes it look pretty grungy. Here's a really good, a good example there. You can see kind of looks stained in here, which for me, I love it. There's a really nice stain right up there. But that was another finish. I love that Santa. Santa in the sleigh with the reindeer driving. So cute. I love the um, the font, the curly Q M and C. Turned out really cute. So those are all of my finishes. The next things I will show you will be whips and new starts. I did have a few of those. So the one I'm currently working on, and I think I might have shared this with you before. Maybe it was I wanted to do it. I can't remember. But this is Winter Tidings Pinky by Stacy Nash. Love the wonky lady and her sled. I'm stitching this on a scrap piece of linen, and I believe it is um, light mocha. And I'm using the charted Gentle Arts flosses. And here is what I have so far. Working on, get all this out of the way. I'm working on the lantern that's down by her feet. So once I get the lantern done, and then there's a border on either side, she'll be done. And I'm going to finish her in a pillow. So there's a border that goes just down the sides, not across the top and the bottom. And then right here is where the little lantern goes. But I really think she's pretty. Now it's charted to stitch in, fill this whole sled in, or basket on the sled. I'm not going to do that. I kind of like the way that looks just like that. And honestly, I'm ready to move on to some other stitching, so I'm going to skip that. I think it looks fine. Kind of adds to. I really loved these, the holly. They're, I have a thing for holly. I just have a thing for green. Thanksgiving Day, I started gathering the greens by Stacy Nash. 
This is a, a poor picture. I used uh, its PDF and my printer was running out of ink, but you can kind of see what the design looks like. And I'm stitching this on a 36 count uh, summer khaki. And I am using the called for weeks flosses. And here is my start. I got a, a nice start done. I wanted to get over to the house. So I stitched, I usually start in the top right hand corner. I just feel like my stitches look better going from right to left because I stitch in hand. It just feels natural to me and I don't know, I just like the way my, my stitches lay. So, um, started there and then I wanted to get over to the house and I don't recall now what, I don't even have my threads here. Um, what color was the house? Bees knees, I believe. I wanted to see what it was going to look like on this linen make sure that it was gonna stand out enough. So that's why I have so much of this alphabet row stitched in. So I could use it as a landmark moving down to stitch the house. So that's what I got done on gathering the greens. It's really pretty on this linen and not very big. I think, I think that's pretty much the bottom bottom edge right there. So a cute little Christmas sampler. I will be finishing or stitching more on this. I won't get it done this season, but I will be working on that some more. I want to get the little wonky lady pen cube done, and then I will be working some more on that one. So that's that start. And then I also started another one on, I think it was Thanksgiving day, around about. Uh, my last regular video, I asked everyone if what, which one they would, they would choose or recommend that I start from Kathy Barrick. Reindeer Games was the big winner, the big, it got most of the votes for what, which one I should, should start. I love this. And let's see, what is this one on? <laughs> right. I have it in two bags. And now I don't know where my, nope, that's not it. I don't know where my tag went. This is fiber on a whim, I'm pretty sure. And it may be old gold or parchment. Anyway, I didn't get as much time in on this one, but I'm really liking how it looks so far. Let's get this better. Now, my reindeer, he's two different colors right now. And I was kind of trying to decide which one I liked best. And I think I'm going to stick with the darker color. This is charted for NPI silks and I'm using DMC. But then because this fabric is fairly dark, I am kind of making some adjustments. I'm changing all my snowflakes to be white on the chart they're kind of a minty green um and which doesn't sound good but it looks great together but i just didn't like it on this linen so changing that and i'm changing the reindeer colors and i think all of the reindeer are that same yes all the reindeer are, are the same color so i'm really loving how that's looking so pretty. I love Kathy Barrick designs. I haven't stitched many, but I really do like what she what she does. All right. So for my 
monthly new start sampler. I chose the red and green carnation sampler by Samplers Remembered. So this was my December 1st start. Sometime I would like to stitch this little roll, Merry Christmas roll. I am stitching this on 36 count baked clay by Fox and Rabbit. And really this is hardly even, get my thread out of the way. Hardly even a start, but it is what it is. But I believe it's going to look really pretty on this fabric. These are the flosses, there's not many. And I was a little bit concerned whether this um, green tea was going to show up. I haven't stitched it with it yet. I think it'll be all right. I, I don't know, I may have to substitute that, but I was really curious to see how these were going to uh, stitch up on this baked clay, but I think it's really pretty, and I think it's going to be gorgeous. So that was my December 1st new sampler start. Um, something that I purchased, Lori Rippey Homespun, Homespun Prims by Lori. Her, one of her new Christmas samplers. Hospitality and good cheer, so cute. I love anything with reindeer and there's a pineapple there and there's sheep down at the bottom. Oh, it's just really cute. It's not very big. How large is this? I thought about starting it, but I refrained. I don't know, I don't have it here, how large it is. Looks like a hundred and something by a hundred and, just a little over a hundred by a hundred maybe. So that wouldn't really take a whole lot. A lot of time. I love it because it's square. Oh, it's just so pretty. So that was a new purchase and something new that Lori just released. I had one more fully finished item, and I can't believe I forgot it, but I had it put back in my uh, spare bedroom hanging on a on a little knob on my pie safe. But this is my very, very favorite finish so far this Christmas, and it is S. Claus by Not Forgotten Farm, a little hanging pocket. And I just love how this turned out. Just love it. First time I've ever made anything like this. So I backed it with this fabric and then I just kind of um, cut and frayed the edges of a piece to make like a handle that it can hang from. And I attached it, I just tacked it onto the corner and then added a jingle bell on each one. And then I put this greenery in inside it. I also put a really a thin piece of cardboard inside because it kind of wanted to hang and kind of gather, gather up in the center and kind of roll the sides in. So I placed a um, piece of cardboard in there and I did kind of bend it. You can kind of see that it lays kind of concaved. So, because I wanted the stitching to kind of show up a little bit more and stand out. So I bent it, bent the cardboard, and then I've attached this, um, all this greenery was all together in this little mitten. Uh, Hubs and I went on a junkin' trip, or what we call junkin'. We went to some thrift stores a couple, or a weekend or so ago. And when I saw this little mitten, all of those little goodies greenery was just crammed down inside there. And I thought, uh-huh. Although I liked it just as it was. It was cute. I really do like this. I think I used to have some stockings that were similar to this. Um, anyhow, when I saw it with all that, greenery in it that oh that's that would be perfect for my s claws bag 
So I dug all of it out of there and put it in here. So in order for the greens to um, stay upright, I glued them to the cardboard. So the cardboard gives the whole thing stability, but it also keeps the greens in place. And I love how this turned out, it's so cute. So cute. Hang over here, maybe you can see it. Not really. There we go. Oops, so that was my favorite finish for the year. I'm going to go through my big old bag pouch of other Christmas things um, just to uh, fill in a little bit more time here and I'll show you some possibilities that I might work on. Um, I have this Stacy Nash Country Sampler Mitten Pin Keep. I like that one. I have Stacy Nash's Homespun Stocking and Mitten Ornament. So I thought I could make a couple of mittens. So cute. These are all possibilities. Who knows what I might pick next. I have Not Forgotten Farms Christmas Donkey. I don't know what it is about things with these little kind of like feather twiggy trees. I just, I like the way that looks. I have Not Forgotten Farms Merry Maker. I've shown you this before. Kind of leaning towards that. I have this one kitted up. Um, Not Forgotten Farms Blue Bell Snickel. I have some, um, I have some blue bell snickel figurines that this would look cute with. So I have it all kitted up, I'm ready to go. And I have Christmas cheer, Jeanette Douglas designs pen pillows. These are so cute. I think I would like to do this one, although they're all very cute. So pretty. This one looks really vintage to me. Reminds me of um, Grown Up. I have Lori Wilson's Thread Milk Cozy Christmas Cottage for the Bowl series. I like this Noel, and I like the snowflakes, and I like the Twiggy Feather Tree. I like it all, but I think those would be the ones that I would probably be more apt to stitch. Let's see, what else do we have in here? I may not be able to show you much more because a lot of these were um, PDFs. Go through here really quick. Not Forgotten Farms, Good Cheer. This one's really pretty. That's a good contender. Basket of cheer. Basket of cheer. Um, this is In Santa Claus Land by Brenda Gervais. Isn't that cute? It's another little bag. Um, yeah, I think it's a bag. Very cute. It's got snowmen and house up the side. Some more over here. Very cute. Hmm. I've stitched this before and sold it and just don't have one for myself. So Primrose Cottage. No, sorry. Abbey Rose Designs. Primitive Merry Christmas Pillow. So pretty. Stacy Nash's Silent Night Pin Keep and Ornament. I think I would just right now do the Silent Night Small Pillow. And Stacy Nash's Snowed In Pin Keep and Ornament. I would probably just do Snow for right now. So pretty. The classic Stacy Nash's Merry Christmas Pin Keep. 
And I do have some of this garland trim. Christmas at Winterberry Cabin by Brenda Gervais. So cute, look, he's pulling the sled with the snowman on it. Oh, the reindeer, Rudolph is pulling the sled with the snowman on it. Oh yes, and this one. Somebody I know is stitching this one right now. Letters for Santa, Brenda Gervais. Little House needle Needleworks, Jingle All the Way. Such a cute little scenery. And let's see, sorry, my nose itches. I have always wanted to stitch Prairie Schoolers Songs of the Season, The Deck the Halls. Of course, this one, all of them, all of them. But that one really is what caught my eye first. Oh my, just not enough time and or enough arms to do what we want to do. And let's see. Oh, so many more. Almost shameful for the amount that I have in here. Threadwork primitives. Let it snow. So pretty. So, as you can see, I have plenty of options. So... I will end it here. Thank you all for visiting with me. Thank you all always for stopping in and spending some time with me. I appreciate you all so much. I enjoy the comments. Um, I've not been able to get uh, reply to many of the comments from the Christmas home tour video yet, but I will. And um, thank you all for being kind and encouraging to me. And uh, just sharing what we love to do so much. So uh, take care and I will see you next time.